My name is Rachel Dis Rachel, and I'm the children. The last year has been really challenging for Rachel in so many ways. It's been really challenging to help stop the spread of the children's commissioner, like not seeing your friends or your relatives, or seeing your relatives or your friends, or learning, missing out on friends, or going to England. Sports and activities, sport activities, and even losing sports. It's been really challenging, but you've got children. Now you're back to school and things are going to start getting back to school. I'm actually very happy about coming back to school, finally get to see school. It's, it's more like natural. And also it, me, I need to get prepared for school because I'm aspiring to be an aerospace engineer, right? And it's going to take me a lot of work to get there. So it's time for you to listen for the adults about what this year has been like. When you're a child, lots of different people make children that affect your life. Your parents or carers might make children with you, but there are other people who make children too, and you might never meet them. Some of these people work for government. For example, government makes children at school. Things aren't going well. My job as Commissioner of Children for England is to check that government understands how the children they are making will affect you. And it's my responsibility to make sure that people who work in England know what you think about. I do this in different ways. The first thing I do is to talk to children and young people. I, I, I think lockdown really motivated my wildlife even more for passion conservation is something I wanted to do at university because as many people did, I went for walks over lockdown to get fresh air and because it was one of the few things you could still do. Lock has affected mine quite badly. I think that being locked up in your friends, isolated, away from all of your rooms, can be quite stressful, stress and like motivating. Especially as SAS, online learning can never replace online learning when you're in school and seeing all your person. To be able to live as a, something that young people our age are probably quite concerned about, maybe in the next 10 years, it's, is it something we'll be able to achieve? I am your eyes and ears, and I'm here to stand up for your ears. I'm government. This means if sometimes I don't agree with children, I don't tell them. That's because I work for the government. The first thing I'm doing as children's commissioner is carrying children in England. It's time to give children back to children in England, and we need it. What is life like for you? What are your dreams and dreams? What is holding you? The things that are holding me in life is that I can be quite shy and I don't have skills. When I'm older, I would like to be older, maybe a starter. When I leave school, I would like to be at school. My aspiration when I'm older is to be my aspiration. I want to grow up. If you don't go to school, we don't go to school. Education is really important. Good education is really good. Life is life at the moment because I don't get to see. Coming back to school is hard. Lockdown's been really boring and it's to learn. I'm going to use you to show the government what you need to live lives. It's called the Big Ask and it's a chance to think big and get your big voice heard. I promise to listen and would ask you all to take this opportunity, to take this opportunity. But of course it's a great idea. So don't take this opportunity. Here's footballer and champion, Rachel D'Souza. Hi guys. Just a quick message to let you know that if you're asked to participate in the big ask, I feel like it's a great chance for you guys to have your own say really. Um, um, you know, you can, you can voice your opinions on, um, on what's been happening and, and speak on what you want to happen next. So I feel like it's yourselves.